We are Ben and MP, and with the help of incredible ship rides, we've been rebuilding a wooden schooner that was doomed to become a wreck. Last week, we found what we hoped were the last rotten parts left of the boat. And after some cuts, sanding and fitting, we now have a brand new mascot. Speaking of brand new, our new rudder is in the making. And that's what we're going to show in this episode. But before we get there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as the boat is not nearly ready yet and there's a lot more of this to come. Now we need to figure out where this, well, where these two have to be. It's where the fastener or the supports, the mounts are that mount it to the boat. So it's actually moving it now, but it can be that we have to change it based on the new transom. So we'll see what happens. But these are going to be the next in the rudder, the new rudder.
was all super cool. And I think it's like, wow, how he does it. Like nothing is too deep. So nice and flat at the level that he wants it. All oh, both of these parts are practically ready except for some sanding and like rounding the edges. So we're gonna start fastening them both together with five eight seven inch screws. Uh, like threaded bars, stainless steel. Which we're going to put like three, maybe four in, hold it together. Uh, we're going to let this sit to see if anything opens. We are going to use a material, I don't know what yet, to put in between both parts to make sure no water gets in. But for now, the holes are going to be made for the threaded bars. Then it can always be removed and put back together before we put it onto the boat.
Cheguei que esquerda mesmo, foi? Esquerda aqui, ó. Olha, bem no meio, foi bem? Aí, viu? That's everything he had done initially. Now it has to be placed next to each other again and fastened back together after I've gone to get a threaded bar. I'm missing one more, so let's go. Now the part of the rudder is practically done. Uh, it just has to be all fastened together and painted and stuff. Now the other part is the part on the boat. So this looks very similar to the one on the rudder, but it's a little bit thinner and that's what's going to go on the boat and a pole is going to go through this hole holding the boat onto the rudder, no, the rudder onto the boat. So we've got a huge piece of timber over there which we'd rather not use yet, not for such a small piece. So there's a little piece of leftover here under the boat that we're going to see if it will work lengthwise to go against the transom and also to fit this. Right down Oh. Eu achei que ela não encaixava, mas ela encaixa aqui, ó. ó. É bom, ó. Né? Encaixa um pouquinho também, ó. Uhum. Também meio, milis, meio centímetro, tipo lá, mesma coisa, né? É bom. É bom, então nós vamos fazer dela, né? Eu
this piece here, we're actually looking at where the rudder is going to be in comparison to the transom. Now it's very simple at the moment, but we do need to know where we are going to mount, well, where we're going to attach the stainless steel uh, mount to the transom for the rudder to be held at the right height. The next big dilemma is where are we going to put this quadrant so before we actually start chopping into that uh, rudder support we need to know where this quadrant is going to go so it doesn't sit under the waterline but also that it doesn't hit the platform. I couldn't really show it properly because I had to help Kara hold it because it's quite a heavy piece of stainless steel. So the plan is actually is it, that line up there is where it's going to be to this slight down angle so that we can mount it higher up that the rudder, the outer bit still fits under this platform but that the wires or the ropes actually attached to it are inclined towards the boat so the holes that we have to make for the wires to steer the rudder are as high as possible from the water line so that water doesn't come in of course so that's the plan now we can head back to the workshop so this represents distance up to the water line 1 meter 60. now what's going to happen here is this line is the water line which is going to be represented by this stick uh, this rudder is actually slightly higher than the lowest point of the keel so this will never get into hopefully not get in contact with anything on the ground and if the keel does this will still stick so these mounts are the ones that are going to mount to this which is going to be attached to the stern post to well, to the transom these are going to be mounted to the rudder and I'm going to rest on top of these with a big stainless steel pole going through all these holes same here except this is a bit out now over here what was the dilemma this thing we want it to be close to the water under the well just above the water line so that it fits under the platform but also we wanted the cables going from here into the transom not to be under the water line so this is now if you look at this perpendicular and this is slightly at an angle so it's above the water line so this is the water line remember but not in it and this is pointing upwards over here where it's going to enter the transom over here which is far away from the water line and that's the plan and that's what we were measuring now Ampi. Hi. I don't know if you can tell, but we tried to do some stuff. Like, we've been painting the engine room for two months already. <laughs> and we always find something else to do instead. One day we're gonna finish. She said, I don't know if you can tell, but some things we dread to do, like painting the engine room, is something we've been wanting to do for months. 
Hopefully one day we'll finish this. Luke, I'm your father. Luke, I'm your father. <laughs> We just need to know where we're going to put the rudder on the boat. We need to see, I know our masts have to be straightened so there's no point using that as a point of reference. So we're going to try and pull a line, to find the center line of this boat and find out where we're going to fasten the mount of the rudder onto the transom. Now it's time to make a crane and the crane is going to lift up the support of the rudder so we can start mounting it or measuring to mount it onto the transom before we can fasten it with some epoxy in between so it becomes literally like a part of the boat and not just a loose bit fastened on. Uh, our, epo our epoxy resin is arriving soon so we can redo the roof here and there, the fiberglass. So we might have to wait to fasten it permanently, but at least we'll have everything ready for when the epoxy resin arrives. We can just fix it and do it. Thank you so much for supporting us. Roman, Vincent, Brenda, and Webfront Design. Go!